Hello, in this video we will understand about the urticaria. This is the hives, wheels, valves or natural rash is a raised, itchy rash that appear on the skin, remember. So basically it is uh, urticaria is uh, immunological urticaria or non-immunological -immun urticaria we will discuss. So let's begin to understand from this is the person which that is affected uh, due to the triggers like allergen, physical like water, infection like pathogen. Whenever these triggers will be inhaled or intact with the skin, so the contact to the skin. Whenever it will contact to the skin or trigger the allergen, physical and infection which that will lead to inhale. And in this way, in this way uh, you can understand the immunological urticaria will occur. This is the uh, diagram, you can understand this image. Is, is the whole body urticaria infection and uh, due to the uh, due to the triggers so this is the a picture you can understand that so the urticaria is here is the hives or some a uh, different the uh, different type of wheels or valves uh, and here you can see this is a valves or natural rash uh, is a raised itchy rash that appear on the skin. So remember, let's learn about the pathophysiological effect and the type 1 hypersensitivity activation on the skin. This is the skin, the intact of the pollen or water even. Uh, the, uh, even water is known as the aquagenic um, urticaria. So this is the hypodermis contain adipose tissue and dermis contain an lymphatic system and contain blood circulatory system and in the blood circula circulatory system this is the nerve ending for the pain, sensation of pain. This is the pollen intact and toe like receptor for the dendritic cell and after the recognition of this as an antigen will move into the naive B cell. Anyhow this is the uh, different things. But remember, this UVB, which that is especially called urticaria. Or on the other hand, it, it is a lot of chemicals involved. We need to activate the type 1 hypersensitivity. Whenever the dendritic cell will recognize through toe-like receptor, whenever the pollen will intact, if the skin will be damaged, for example, will lead to type 1 hypersensitivity activation in this way it will dendritic cell will uh, take the antigen and go into the naive b cell in the lymphatic system and in this way the plasma cell and b memory cell proliferation will occur through naive b cell after this plasma cell and b memory cell uh, b memory cell basically here is the mast cell So in this way, the FC receptor are present and the immunoglobulin E, which that is basically intact, and the plasma cell. And in this way, the uh, in this way the MRGX2, the M receptor, is involved for the autocrinally to activation of the mast cell because the pollen or allergen is not intact because allergen are not invade into the skin into the blood circulatory system lead to mast cell degranulation after this degranulation through m receptor mrgx2 uh, basically the m receptor activation will lead to degranulation of the uh, uh, different mediators these different mediators will lead to cause inflammation by the binding of the different tissue with the different receptor the histamine receptor specially this is the lymphatic system, remember? Anyhow, let's begin to understand what happened for these mediators. And we will discuss about the different type of mediators like histamine. Histamine is a major and tumor necro necrotic factor. Alpha, cytokines, serotonin, leukotrienes, 
proteases are different type of proteases and chemokines as well as the proteoglycan so in this way the mediators which that will interact and mm, you know it will uh, basically will lead to bind with the h1 receptor if whenever it will be bind with the h1 receptor with the smooth muscle endothelial cell and the central nervous system the uh, neurons will lead to change the physiology like vasoconstriction and constriction of the muscles like the digestive system or the bronchoid bronchioles basically the lungs so on the other hand the h1 h4 receptor on peripheral nerve fibers which that is binding of h2 receptor vasodilation binding of h2 receptor vasodilation in this way the local arrhythmia and wheel uh, wheel pruritus uh, rashes can be can be occur by this mechanism this is the immuno immunological uretic area while well, let's begin to understand the non immuno immunological uretic area we will not go for the detail more uh, in a non immune immunological uretic area but understand just shortly so easy to understand now the the activation of membrane receptors involved in innate immunity example is the complement cytokines and chemokines complement cytokines and chemokines direct toxin stimulation uh, example for the direct toxin stimulation example is the opiates aspirin and nsaids and the emotional stressors is also involved while on the other hand the physical stimuli like aquagenic h2o uv uh, uv radiation and uh, visible light on the other hand the choline cholinergic heat sweating and uh, cold anyhow this immunological uretic area is basically will lead to activation of specific receptor without previous sensitization so without previous sensitization mast cell activation cause inflammatory response while it is not uh, basically identification no any problem the binding with the mast cell so the mast cell ultimately activate because the aquagenic and the uh, light cholinergic heat sweating and cold will lead to a mast cell activation cause inflammatory response so this inflammatory response is basically the same mediators i hope you make sense about the uretic area this is a skin problem and this skin problem is very rare not too much and in this way it will show the hives wheels valves etc on the skin will lead to cause problem complication thanks for watching please make sure to subscribe like and share bye